the aerodynamics and the hydrodynamics and the strength that's required to be able to fly and operate at depths, and the power you need to move at high speeds in the air, then how do you convert that power to something under the water? Those are huge technological challenges, he said. There's no question in my mind that in the future of warfare, probably long after I'm gone, we'll see that type of thing beginning to occur. Imagine, Rahed said, being able to park military technology at the bottom of the ocean, virtually undetected, at a strategic location, tell it to go to sleep indefinitely, and then activate it when needed. Washington, Vice President Mike Pence on Tuesday presided over the historic swearing-in ceremony of the first leader of the U.S. Space Force, the newest branch of the U.S. Armed Forces. Air Force General Jay Raymond was sworn in as the Space Force's first ever Chief of Space Operations. The Space Force was inaugurated as a separate branch of the U.S. military in December 2019. In his new role, Raymond will also serve on the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Pence stated that Raymond comes from a family with a rich military heritage, noting that since 1865 the Raymond family has had somebody in uniform serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. Show full article